watching Good Morning Columbia, live from Manager Bay. Guys, welcome back to Good Morning Columbia. As we do every other Thursday, we have Heyman Dalau, the founder of Vital Energy, talking about overall health inside and outside. A couple of weeks ago, we talked about a, a, a uh, I guess, a affliction called frozen, frozen shoulder, where you couldn't move your shoulder, it kind of locks on you. Yeah. Well, now we're talking the antithesis, and that is a loosey-goosey one, kind of. Right, and overactive shoulder, which starts subluxing, because okay. the structural, um, impairment starts occurring from overuse. It can be the right. injury to the shoulder girdle. It can sure. be injury to the, your rotator cuff or your labrum. Labrum is the is the structure that holds the shoulder. It kinds of glue the shoulder okay. in. So every time the ball moves, right. the shoulder doesn't need to come out. So but it's holding it, it in. It's right. Okay. But if it starts coming out and in overuse injuries, like mm -hmm. sports people who are pitchers or who are sure, who throwing use it, who, and, yeah. and or golfer who are throwing there is a jerky movement and when there is a jerky movement there is always a chance right. to overreach and and sometimes it's a simple thing like someone can pull your arm well, well last night and, I was, I was and, playing with you know with my daughter on the floor and we were uh -huh. messing around and she grabbed me and, and tried to drag me and I mean, even that motion right now hurts but I mean over my head and I was like everything stopped because it hurt like all get out you know and if with that pain you d you stop moving you right. get into frozen shoulder but with that pain and laxity if you keep moving you're going to keep moving that shoulder girdle out right and that will eventually run into a problem where it's a, instead of subluxation right it will be dislocated so be dislocated and shoulder dislocated, and now, every time the shoulder is dislocated, you don't need to get a surgery. Mm -hmm. You can do physical therapy. Your shoulder can be retracted back in. Right. If your therapist knows how to do it, sometimes you can also learn how to do it. Sometimes it needs There's to be put under anesthesia. They need to put it back. Right. Whatever happens, you do need a rehab. And there are specific shoulder stabilization exercises okay. that can be done to make your whole shoulder girdle, when I say shoulder girdle, your shoulder as well as your mm -hmm. scapular muscle needs the stabilization exercises. And that can be repaired that long term, can, you can get back to mm -hmm. normal, it can heal itself. If, yes. if you have the physical therapy, if you do the right treatments, Correct. you don't do the Roger Murtaugh thing and just yeah. crack yourself against the wall and push and, it back And the in. pain is the major issue too with okay. recurrent subluxation and if the pain is under control and managed by your therapist and mm -hmm. do the manual therapy, they know how to distract, they know how to put it and back, make the final. maybe we have to immobilize with okay. the tape for a while and then make you strong again I and then it. you can use your shoulder getting strong again Ms. Heeman's yes. allowed vital Thank energy you. talking about shoulder overall health and yeah that's a little tight I have to come see you later today stay with us guys we're coming <laughs> back